it's inevitable that at some time or other you're going to have to patch up your child after a fall. But cuts and scrapes can be nasty, particularly to the ears and the eyes. With me now, I have got Von Dormer from St John Ambulance to give us a bit of advice. I suppose wounds aren't just from cuts and scrapes. No, children get hold of things, they stick them in their eyes, in their ears, up their noses, you name it, they'll do it. We'll talk about that in a moment. But right now, we're going to see what to do for minor cuts and scrapes. Sam Dunsmore is along with Mum Catherine to show her what to do. So what has Mallory actually done? She was playing outside and caught her hand on a rose thorn. Oh, let me have a look. So, oh, it's quite a, a clean cut in, insofar as it's not jagged. Um, but obviously with thorns you do still have to be very careful. At least having not fallen over there's no bits of gravel in it. But we ought to give it a wash just Aww. to make sure it is clean yeah, and there's nothing in there. Aww. Mallory, we we'll need to put your hand, hand under the tap. Here we go. Look, you have a little bit of water. It's good girl. And there we go. Just make sure it's nice and cool. We haven't hit the hot tap instead of the cold tap. And just run it through. There's no need to scrub at it. If there is bits of grit in there, then all it's going to do is uh, cause skin damage. So just run it through. There. How does that feel, Mallory? You're right there. That right. Good yeah. Girl. Give it a nice good clean. Okay. Let's take it out. Shall we add the tissue? And we'll go dry it off all the way around. And wounds are better off healing if they're covered up. Right, so we are going to need to put a plaster on it. Yep. So you choose one and we can draw a face on it. Yeah. We'll put that in the bin in a minute. Would you? Shall we hold that? that? Oh, that's it. You dry it off. That's it. You dry it off. There we go. Mummy, yeah. hold your and hand. Mummy, hold your hand. Very quick. There we go. Glasses on. All done. What a clever girl. I noticed we, we dropped the really big one. Make sure that we've covered the wound completely. We don't want the wound being stuck on the sticky stuff. So make sure the wound is covered. Okay. Now we've got to do one for your dolly. <gasps> oh, yes. Where's that dolly? Here we go. There. Here's dolly. You hold dolly. There we are. You're going to stick it on, make her all better too. Yes. Because Santa, we've got to cover it up. That's it. So you can do the same. Here we go. There. There. All better. Is dolly better? Matching. Best give dolly a love. There we go. It's a good girl. Well done. Okay. Oh, poor little Mallory there. Yvonne, can you tell us what to do for a wound to the eye? It depends whether it's on the eyelid or on the actual eye itself. If it's on the eyelid, you can treat it as any other wound, cover it with a dressing, just make sure the dressing goes round on the diagonal so you're not blindfolding the child. If the wound's on the eyeball, it's very serious. You only get issued with two eyes and they're yours for life, so they have to be treated carefully. Anywhere on the white of the eye, on the coloured part of the eye, serious problem and really both eyes should be bandages bandaged to stop them moving mm. and get off to hospital straight away okay how about wounds to the ears ears you have the problem with blood clotting inside the ear canal and that can lead to hearing problems later on so we want to allow that to drain out so with a dressing pad opened out put it against the ear lean the child's head towards that side so any blood can drain into the dressing ears should stop bleeding fairly quickly if you have any worries, again, get them checked out. Go to the doctor. And finally, how about um, wounds to the nose? Well, there's the option of the, again, the external wound or the nose bleed. External wound, fine, just normal direct pressure. Yeah. Probably can't bandage it, might be able to stick a plaster on. Right. But if it's a nose bleed, common misconception is that you stick their head back. Yeah. Unfortunately, you don't, because that makes blood go down the throat and then they choke on it. So head forward, pinch the soft part of the nose, just not the bone, just below the soft part of the nose, and probably about 10 minutes. May not be easy to keep the child still for that long, but that's what's needed. Okay, thank you very much, Yvonne. No problem. So to sum up, for minor cuts and scrapes, clean the wound and apply pressure, making sure there's nothing embedded. Cover with dry dressing. Don't use antiseptics and creams. And if your child does have a wound to the ear or the eye, make sure it's checked by a doctor.